six parts, that's all it takes. While most modern vehicles are assembled from hundreds, sometimes thousands of individual panels, brackets, and structural elements, Aptera's entire vehicle shell is built from just six main components. It sounds almost impossible at first, like a clever marketing line or an oversimplification, but this isn't a shortcut or a gimmick. It's the result of a deeply intentional engineering philosophy that questions every assumption behind how cars have been built for more than a century. BIN, short for Body in Carbon, represents one of the most radical shifts in vehicle construction the automotive world has ever seen. Traditional cars rely on 200 to 400 separate stamped metal parts, all welded, bolted, or riveted together. Aptera throws that playbook away entirely. Six parts replace all of that complexity. Fewer pieces than many toy cars, and yet the result is not weaker, cheaper, or compromised. It's lighter, stronger, and fundamentally more efficient. This simplicity isn't accidental. It's advanced engineering hiding in plain sight. Each of the six parts is designed to do far more work than a conventional panel, combining structural strength, aerodynamic precision, and manufacturability into a single form. Instead of stacking complexity on top of complexity, BIN removes it at the root. At the core of this approach is a material that quietly rewrites what's possible in automotive manufacturing, carbon fiber sheet molding compound, or CFSMC. This isn't the exotic, hand-laid carbon fiber associated with supercars or aerospace. CFSMC uses chopped carbon fiber strands, typically between 10 and 50 millimeters long, randomly distributed within a thermosetting resin matrix. That randomness is not a flaw, it's the feature. Unlike continuous carbon fiber, which is incredibly strong but slow and expensive to work with, CFSMC can flow under pressure. That flow allows it to fill complex molds quickly while still delivering exceptional mechanical performance. It's the balance point between strength and scalability. Aptera uses CFSMC for the majority of the bin structure, strategically supplementing it with glass sheet molding compound in areas where absolute peak strength isn't required. This hybrid strategy keeps costs under control without sacrificing performance where it matters most. The numbers behind this material explain why it's so transformative. CFSMC can cut weight by as much as 50% compared to steel or aluminum, while matching or even exceeding their structural strength. Its stiffness, measured by modulus, ranges from 20 to 60 gigapascals, with strength values spanning roughly 60 to 500 megapascals, depending on processing and fiber behavior. In practical terms, that puts it in the same league as many advanced metal alloys, but at a fraction of the mass. Weight alone, however, isn't the full story. BIN also changes what happens at the end of a vehicle's life. The composite structure can be recycled up to five times, dramatically reducing its carbon footprint. Traditional automotive manufacturing consumes enormous amounts of energy and produces significant waste. BIN flips that equation, offering one of the lowest CO2 life cycle impacts of any vehicle architecture in production today. To understand how this system becomes reality, the story moves far from California to Modena, Italy, deep in the heart of the Italian Motor Valley. This is the same region that gave the world Ferrari and Lamborghini, and it's where Aptera found an unlikely but perfect partner, CPC Group. CPC's story began in 1959 as a small artisan workshop known as Modelleria CPC, crafting aluminum models by hand. For decades, it operated quietly in the background of Italian manufacturing. Then, about 15 years ago, under the leadership of CEO Franco Iorio, the company made a decisive shift. Aluminum was out, composites were in. That single decision transformed CPC into Europe's largest composite manufacturer, employing over 850 people and producing hundreds of thousands of advanced composite parts every year.
Today, CPC supplies some of the most demanding brands in the world, names that tolerate zero compromise. Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, Maserati, BMW, Lotus, and Tesla all rely on CPC's expertise. What sets the company apart isn't just material knowledge, but scale. CPC operates one of the largest composite dedicated press facilities on the planet, capable of exerting up to 5,000 tons of force. That's enough pressure to shape massive, complex carbon components in minutes instead of hours. That capability is essential for BIN. Press molding allows Aptera's large body sections to be formed quickly with exceptional surface quality and dimensional precision. When Aptera's co-founder Steve Fambro visited CPC alongside manufacturing expert Sandy Munro, the alignment was immediately obvious. The world's most efficient vehicle could finally be built using one of the most efficient manufacturing processes ever developed. In late 2022, that realization became a formal partnership. Aptera and CPC signed an agreement not just for production, but for co-development. Engineers from both teams began refining the six-part architecture together, optimizing every detail of the process. When CPC was later acquired by Mitsubishi Chemical Group, the partnership gained another layer of strength, a vertically integrated supply chain backed by one of the world's largest chemical companies. The manufacturing journey of BIN begins long before any mold closes. Carbon fiber tow is chopped into short strands, then dispersed onto a resin-coated carrier film. A second film seals the fibers into a sandwich, which is compacted and rolled. The material is allowed to mature until it reaches the perfect viscosity, thick enough to handle, fluid enough to flow. When production begins, the material is cut into precisely shaped charges. These aren't arbitrary pieces. Their size, shape, and placement are the result of advanced simulation, predicting how the material will move under pressure. Multiple charges are positioned in the mold so that when the press closes, the carbon flows exactly where it's needed, aligning fibers along critical load paths. The press itself operates at carefully controlled temperatures between 140 and 160 degrees Celsius. As thousands of tons of force are applied, the material surges through the mold cavity, filling every contour. Over the next few minutes, the resin cures, locking the fibers into a rigid, structural form. What emerges is a finished body component, fully shaped and structurally complete. Each part is then inspected with extreme precision, excess material is trimmed away, and coordinate measuring machines verify every dimension down to fractions of a millimeter. Components that meet specifications move forward, those that don't are recycled back into the system. Assembly is where the six parts finally become one. Instead of hundreds of welds, the bin structure is bonded together using advanced structural adhesives inside a massive precision fixture. This bonding creates a continuous load path that's stronger than traditional mechanical joints. Once assembled, the full structure is validated again, ensuring aerodynamic accuracy and structural integrity. The implications of this approach are enormous. Production cycles measured in minutes instead of hours make carbon fiber viable at scale. Weight savings translate directly into efficiency, enabling Aptera to target 10 miles per kilowatt hour and achieve long range with a relatively small battery. The composite structure absorbs crash energy effectively, providing strength without excess mass, and recyclability ensures sustainability isn't an afterthought, it's built into the design. As of early 2025, this isn't theory anymore. Production intent vehicles are being assembled in a repeatable validation process. Components are arriving from suppliers, systems are being tested, tracks are being driven. With tens of thousands of reservations and a clear path towards production, the transition from idea to reality is well underway. BIN ultimately represents more than a single vehicle architecture.
it challenges a manufacturing model that hasn't fundamentally changed in more than 100 years. It proves that fewer parts mean better results, that efficiency and sustainability can reinforce each other, and that radical innovation sometimes comes not from adding complexity, but from stripping it away. Six parts, one unified structure, a new way forward. The revolution isn't approaching, it's already happening. Pressed in Italy, assembled in California, and designed to redefine what efficient transportation can be. Welcome to the age of body in carbon.